It's that time again for your monthly real estate update. Did you know the active inventory in Denver usually begins to rise in April and continues through September? This September, active listings for sale grew 14.4% to 2,003 homes. Historically, September averaged 2,170 homes for sale between 2013 to 2019, excluding the pandemic years. Inventory is expected to stay tight through the year. What about demand? Pending transactions declined by 15.1% from last month with 909 homes going under contract. Closed transactions were down by 19.3% month over month with 927 units selling. Both pending and closed transactions are down from a year ago from minus 23.6 and minus 22.1 respectively. We currently have 2.2 months of supply. In some areas, bidding wars are still happening with 28.6% of homes selling for over the asking price. High demand, low supply, and a touch of competition. Numbers time. Attached residential home prices remain stable, with the average price up by 0.1% to $477,559, while the median sold price fell by 0.1% to $416,900. Multiple offers. Though they are less frequent than in previous years, August saw 28.6% of attached units selling for over the asking price. On average, these homes were selling for 2.2% over asking price. Patience is key. The average days on market increased this month to 31 days, and the median days grew by three days. It's a waiting game, but good things come to those who wait. Quick sales alert. 36.4% of homes were under contract in seven days or less, which was down from last month by 3.7%. If your home was one of them, it was likely to receive 100.6% of its original list price. To sum it up, Denver's real estate market is dynamic. Low inventory, strong demand, and competitive pricing are the highlights. We'll be back later in the month with more insights. Stay tuned. If you have any questions or are ready to make a move or need more information about this real estate market, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Ethan Besser, and it's my pleasure to keep you informed.